Hello, my name is Concha Salguero and I'm here to tell you about you, Spain. We are living in times of change when society is looking for healthier ways of life and alternatives to gradually replace plastic fibers with others that are natural, reusable, recyclable, locally produced and sustainable for the environment and the people who live in it. And European wool meets all these requirements. Of course, this was one of the reasons why U Foundation was set up. U Foundation has also realized that after Brexit, Spain is the member state with the highest number of sheep in the European Union, and so the main wool producer and traditional sheep pastoral systems in Spain are still a crucial element of rural communities and one of the key tools in the fight against depopulation, climate change and desertification. They also help to maintain and regenerate our most valuable natural ecosystems. These are all good reasons to make a special effort to revive a local product that can generate so many benefits. There are also clear signs that the wool sector in Spain is gathering momentum and you foundation think it's the right moment to give it a boost. This is what led you foundation to establish a branch in Spain to be called U Spain or U España. In its first year of operation, U Spain will focus its program of activities in four main areas. The first activity is the participation and presentation of U Spain in the European Wood Day 2024, which is happening right now. The second activity will be a staff welfare program for businesses. This consists of offering businesses and other entities a range of activities with and around wool that can generate different benefits for the employees, such as improved team dynamics and performance or fulfilling social and environmental objectives within the company's strategy. The program offered by U Spain will have three main elements. The first one, the purchase of U Spain wool for employees to knit with. Here, a special attention will be placed on the positive impact of the use of U Spain wool for the social, economic and environmental values that it brings. Secondly, Knitting sessions with the employees, where U Spain would visit business premises and supervise a thematic session with the staff, guiding them through the knitting process. Staff could knit a personal item for themselves, or work together on a collective corporate project, or knitting for a solidarity project in collaboration with a local NGO, and finally, visits to Wool Museum plus a waving day. This would consist of visits organized specifically for the company's staff to one of the member museums of U Foundation's network, which would include a wool therapy day in the museum itself, an explanation of the cultural and social values associated with wool. The third activity will be an international day of knitting in public, this is an awareness raising action, which will consist of a group of knitters making sensory twiddle muffs in natural fibers. This would be one day during a weekend in Madrid, with a workshop in the morning at the Clothing Museum and another one in the afternoon at the Retiro Park. The fourth activity this year will be a sensory twiddle muffs competition. And the EU Foundation started an awareness raising action by establishing the European Twiddle Maths Awards in 2022. US Spain will organize this year's edition with a special focus on knitting with natural fibers. But this will be explained later on in more detail by my colleague Concha Rey. Looking to the future and in the medium to long term, US Spain aims to take the first steps towards setting up a wool academy, whose main objective will be to establish a sort of resource bank or reference center for wool activities. This would include, among other things, becoming a certifying entity for training trainers in responsible wool therapy. This would be a qualified standard 
that would also accredit the use of 100% wool in wool therapy. We hope that all these activities will help us to find the resources for the development of EU Spain and may this case serve to establish more EU branches in other countries in the future. In the meantime, thanks to all of you and I wish you all a very happy European Wool Day. Thank you.